Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Control Shift Great, and I'm using the special armor mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. And this, basically, as said in the title, will add special armors to the game. So here are just a few of them. There are lots more, trust me, but these are the main ones and the coolest ones. So if I were to equip any of these, these are the speed leggings. Uh, leggings? I don't know why it's not speed shoes, but speed leggings it is. And it lets you run, I'm not sure exactly, but it feels like about three times faster than you can usually run. So if you see a creeper and you are about to die, you just equip these and then you can run for your life. But then again, if you see a creeper and you're about to die, you probably don't have time to equip any leggings. Uh, but yeah, they're useful if you want to get across to another place and you don't have a lot of time. And there's some diamonds here on the floor, I have put them there, there is a reason behind that, I haven't just randomly put them there. If I move onwards, the jump boots. These are kind of self-explanatory. You press jump, uh, and you'll jump higher. The longer you hold it, the longer you jump for, but eventually you will come back down to the ground. And the program has done a good job because you won't actually take any fall damage. Uh, so the jump boots kind of self-explanatory, and they let you jump. Let's move on again. The diving helmets. Um, I obviously haven't actually made this water deep enough for, to show you this. Uh, I don't know if there's any water nearby. Can't actually see any. But the diving helmet, it's kind of obvious what it'll do. Hello. My head looks awesome now. Uh, the diving helmet will just let you breathe underwater. There we go. I can breathe underwater for as long as I want. As you can see, my little bubble bar isn't going down. Uh, let's have a look and see what we've got coming up next. We've got the fire plate. Now this is probably the best thing, well, the most fun thing in the game. If I go near the sheep, it will just set on fire. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what mob you go near, just as long as you go within a few blocks, they will just catch fire randomly and burn. So you can just walk around killing mobs. It's useful if you're like getting, you think a creeper's going to sneak up behind you, and then you can just burn it without even having to turn around, because you are just too hard for that. Now let's see what else you've got. A cape. Cape, uh, you can craft it with leather and feathers. A cape will just stop you from taking uh, any fall damage, and it will it doesn't stop you, it just means that you fall really slowly, you kind of glide down. Uh, the cape isn't as good as, you know, you can get uh, Minecraft capes, the Minecon cape, which will flap in the wind. This one doesn't do that, unfortunately. It's just uh, to make you fall slower. What else do we have? We have the heavy boots. It's kind of hard to show you, but you'll fall quicker. If you go in water, you will get dragged down to the bottom really quickly. You can swim upwards, slightly weird. If you fall so quickly, you pr probably shouldn't be able to swim upwards. But I can't actually get out of the water without uh, unequipping them. Uh, we've got the speed leggings, already showed you them. The double jump boots. Now, I haven't actually tried them out, but I kind of can guess what it'll let me do. Uh, you jump, and then you can jump again in the air, like a lot of platform games. Everyone's played a platform game, right? So if you press space, you can jump one block, but then I guess... If you double tap space, you can jump up two blocks. You don't have to sprint, I just sprinted them for no reason. There we go, I just jumped up two blocks. That's actually really useful, because I know that I'm always trying to climb up a hill, and there'll be a two block hill, and then... A two block hill, that's not much of a hill. But there'll be a two block jump, and I can never get up. So yeah, these are really useful for that. Also useful for free running. If you're a free runner. I'm not a free runner, because I'm not pro enough. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got a jetpack. Obviously you have to equip that onto your back. And then if you double tap space, uh, you can fly around. Now the thing that I'm not so keen on about this is it's probably a little bit overpowered because you can just fly around for as long as you want. There's no like fuel gauge, because I was looking at another mod the other day, which was a bit like this, but I couldn't get it to work because it was so buggy, which had a jetpack with a fuel gauge, but then the fuel gauge on that was really short. So as soon as you got high, you'd just fall and die. The jetpack, if you do go high, and then you forget that you need to hold space, uh, you will just glide slowly down like the cape. So I don't know why you'd ever wear a cape rather than a actual jetpack. Now if you click on the jetpack, it will show you how to craft it. That's because I'm using not enough items. You need a rocket, a jetpack middle, and a rocket. Uh, obviously you can get the rocket, so how do you craft a rocket? It's like that. How do you craft a jetpack middle? Like that, if you're wondering. You'll probably just use too many items because this mod's just more for playing around, really. Now as you can see, it's getting dark. So here I have the time helmet. If I put this on my head, and if I turn my render up, 
uh, we can see that the stars are rotating really quickly and making me feel sick. That's because the time helmet has sped up the game of Minecraft. So you can see that the moon's going really quickly, and it'll soon be day again. Um, if you're using this mod, I don't see why you wouldn't just use too many items, but this is quite fun if you're just playing on a multiplayer map. Now if I just look to see how you craft it, I'm wondering how overpowered it will be. Yeah, it's kind of overpowered, I guess, because you don't need any diamonds, and it's kind of easy to do. Uh, but I think it's really quite cool, this uh, time helmet. And if you're just trying to play like this, you might start feeling sick because how quickly the stars are moving. Now, I'm just going to just keep it on until it's daytime, shall we? See how long it takes. And have a look what we've got next. So this is the obsidian plate. The obsidian plate is an obsidian plate. It's used by six obsidian. And if I... There we go. It's coming up to day now. There we go. Daytime. And I can turn my render down now and I can take off my mind control helmet. So if I just jump off here, I won't take any fall damage because obsidian is tank. So I can just take as much fall damage as I like, but I won't get any fall damage. It only gives you three little hearts of extra damage health though. Um, for an obsidian, that's not actually a lot. I hate obsidian because it takes so long to mine, but then again, so does everyone else. What else do we have next? The hover boots? Have I already showed you them? I'm not actually sure, I can't remember. The hover boots, obviously they'll let you hover. Uh, you can hover for about two seconds before you fall. So there we go, I'm hovering and now I fell. If I go above water, um, I will not t go in the water, so that's really useful. I don't know what happens if you go above lava, and to be honest I'm not sure if I want to try it out in case I die. So I'm not going to try that just yet. Let's see what we have next. Uh, we have the TNT plate. Now, this is kind of scary. I, if you've ever used the You Be Creeping mo mod, which makes you a creeper, this is kind of similar to that, except you're still a person. So you're like uh, a suicide person. So if you press G, you will explode, and you won't take any damage, but the area around you will. So if you press G, you just keep pressing G, and I guess it's an awesome way to mine. And now it's taken some damage there, I don't know if that will go down the more you use it or not. Let's swap over and see what else we've got. I showed you the fire plate, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's the slime helmet left and the magic boots. Now the magic boots has probably got the most uses in the whole game. So if I just chop up some dirt, this is probably the most basic one. If I stand on this dirt, if I just go into F5 mode, you can see that it's regrassing itself if that's even a term, regrassing. Uh, it's a nice word though. And now here I have the diamonds, I'm not going to come to that just yet. But these magic boots will help you if you want to walk over this water, they'll just turn it to ice, which could get annoying if you accidentally just walk across something and then you've got to de-ice it. And then if you're mining vertically downwards because you're a noob, if you're wearing these, it will just change the lava you land in, uh, I'm not even going to say F because you will land in lava, to obsidian, which is really quite handy. See, there we go, I just got rid of all that lava, so it's gone. Oh, and as you just saw there, when I walked across that uh, diamond ore, if you stand on it, uh, it'll just turn to stone, the ore will come out, and the diamond will come out. And this will happen with iron, so you don't even have to smelt the iron, because these magic boots are really handy. So there's, as you can see in my inventory, I've now got four diamonds. The magic boots will do that for you. If you're not wearing the magic boots though, and you see this, a lava pool, what are you going to do? And you can't be bothered to just place dirt across it because you're lazy. You can equip the slime helmet. Now the slime helmet will actually let you stick to the roof, all sticky, and I can just, just get across this lava without touching it. So I've just managed to tra traverse this lava safely. Uh, so, as you could say, you could say that this is kind of a free runners mod, unless you have the cape to take less damage, you've got the double tap boots to jump high, you've got the magic boots in case you uh, knock up, you've got the jetpack if you want to fly, but free runners don't need jetpacks because they're that awesome. Now, I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you found this mod really cool and interesting. If you have, I'll make you a video of how to install it. So, from me and my slime helmet, Goodbye, and don't forget to favourite.